Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm stressing out so much. I failed my first midterm. I failed the exam after that. What am I going to do? Should I withdraw from this class or do I just keep going and maybe get a C or ah, I might fail, oh my goodness. Ah. Do you feel this way? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, many students that I've talked to coaching them through this application process have come across this same dilemma and problem, right? You're in chemistry, you're in physics, you're in physiology, these really, really, really hard prerequisite classes, and you've worked through trying to get better grades one exam at a time, but you realize this is not working. And you're at a point where it's like, all right, Getting an A is way off. I, this is impossible. I won't get there. Getting a B, uh, I might be able to get like an 80.5% and that's if I get 100% on my final. So chances are you're at this point where it's like, I'm either gonna get a C and I actually have to really study for this final exam or I'm gonna not do so well, which is the trend that's been happening and you're gonna fail and get a D in this course. So you're wondering, is it better to withdraw from the class or just continue on, fill the course, and then retake it later on, right? Whoo! This is a tough position to be in, and let me tell you some guidance. Let me coach you with some guidance as far as what you should do and what's going to be best to get make you look the best on your application process. But before we get into that, what's up you guys? My name is Dr. Lifford Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert. I'm currently working as a physical therapist, but I also am super passionate about helping students get accepted into PT school. So if you like that, if you're interested in all of that, feel free to check out the rest of my videos on my channel. And if you're all about that, feel free to support your brother and subscribe. So should you go and withdraw from this course or should you continue on, fail, and then retake it? Okay, so check this out. Really quick, rule of thumb, if you're at a four-year college university, right, which most of you have to be to get into PT school, um, the rule of thumb is two withdrawals only, okay? Nothing more than that. So if you have no with W's or no withdrawals, or if you have one, then yes, it is okay to withdraw from this course, recenter yourself, and then retake the course again at a different time, right? It's much better to do that in that situation than to continue on with the course, fail, and then have to retake it and then get maybe either the average of the two times that you've taken it, or maybe some programs will take the higher grade. Regardless, two W's maximum. Now check this out. If we go and do the opposite of this, and now this is your third withdrawal, fourth withdrawal, then the college uh, PT school admission board is gonna look at your application and say, hmm, I'm starting to see a trend here. You cannot handle hard and difficult classes. And your default, it seems like, when it gets too hard, you withdraw and you say, I give up, I can't do this anymore. When you're in PT school, there is no second chances like that. So if you have a trend of having three or more withdrawals, then the PT school admission board is going to be like, I don't want this student. This student is just going to fail, is going to give up. And when times get hard, which PT school is hard, um, they're most likely not going to be successful. So, okay, three withdrawals, four withdrawals. I'm catching a trend here. Bah, bah, bye. Sure, you might be like, well, my GRE score is good or my letter of recommendations are superb, which they might very well be, but patterns of past behavior are a high predictor of future behavior. And if you look at all this stuff in the past, that's what they're judging you on. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> I'm sure they're like, no judgment, don't judge me for my past, but that's what they have and that's what will determine and for them to to pretty much size you up as to if you're going to be successful in this program, if you're going to be a good fit for this program, or are we just wasting our time with you and limiting an opportunity for another student who can be successful in this class. So all in all, if this is you, 
I really recommend that you do not withdraw from your course if you have already two W's, two W's in there, all right? But if this is your first one um, or your second one, then fine, but try your best not to do that. Ah, I hope this video was super helpful for you. This topic, this question came up several times recently, and so I figured I'd make a video on this for y'all. But uh, I really appreciate, appreciate all of you. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting. Have a great one, you guys.